a developing controversy concerning the Department of Defense and a new training manual that compares modern day extremists with some of America's founding fathers. The Boston Tea Party has already been deemed an act of terror in some U.S. school districts. And now it seems the Department of Defense, at least according to this training manual, thinks the men who signed the Declaration of Independence weren't much better. A portion of the new manual reads, quote, In U.S. history, there are many examples of extremist ideologies and movements. The colonists who sought to free themselves from British rule and the Confederate states who sought to secede from the northern states. Those are just two examples. Let's debate it. Sally Cohn is a Fox News contributor with SallyCohn.com. Brad Blakeman is former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush. Welcome to you both. Nice to Thank see you, you both. All right, I got to read another part of this manual that's out there, and it says it is a training manual not to be used in practice, but it says, nowadays, instead of dressing in sheets or publicly espousing hate messages, many extremists will talk of individual liberties, states' rights, and how to make the world a better place. Sally, come on. <laughs> All right, so let's step back for a second uh, and, and realize what this is about. This is about making sure that our military, which we all rely on to keep us all safe, uh, that the people who serve in our military, those troops, answer to our commander-in-chief and their commanders and not some extremist ideology. And to be fair, there are other portions you're not reading, including portions that single out black separatists, uh, something I think they call eco-warriors, so groups that would traditionally be associated with the left also as examples of extremists. You know, the reality is if someone shows up uh, trying to sign up for our military thinking they're the second coming of George Washington uh, in this day and age, none of us. That's not good for any of us. That makes us all less safe. Yeah, and you're right. There are a number of different groups that they single out saying that these are examples of extremist ideology. Uh, but, uh, but also, when you say things like states' rights and how to make the world a better place, <laughs> uh, that's a lot of people out there. And, and Brad, a lot of people feel like that's the same kind of language we heard with the IRS singling out the Tea Party. Absolutely. Isn't that what the military does? Don't they fight for the very principles they now are cautioning people about? Don't they lay their lives on the, on the line for, for fairness and equality and, and American values? The same values that our founding fathers put their life on the, on the line for. And let's not forget, uh, in, in, in times of change, uh, it's what you define a radical to be. Was Washington a radical? I bet you the King of England thought he was. Was Martin Luther King a radical? Some people believed he was. But it, it, they fought for principle, and the principles that the army or, or the military is now singling out as something that, that is, is un-American or some, something that the military should not follow is quite the opposite. It, it, they have it totally skewed as to what the principles that these so-called radicals were fighting for. We're fighting for them today. And when you single out the Tea Party, they're fighting for fairness, equality. They're fighting for responsibility in our debt and taxes. These aren't foreign subjects. These are very principles that our nation was founded on. All right, I want to I want to let uh, uh, yeah. folks know uh, before we continue that uh, by the way, Todd Starnes, our reporter on this, uh, referencing these documents that were they were obtained through a Freedom of Information Act by Judicial Watch. Uh, he said he repeatedly called the Pentagon. They did not return uh, telephone calls seeking comment on these materials. So do you think it would be helpful if they did clarify? Well, sure. And I think it would be certainly helpful if we knew that this was the first time, uh, you know, when do these date back to? Uh, and some of them date back to, uh, you know, when Gates was Secretary of Defense, which, as we know, he was Secretary of this, Defense. This, by the way, is Bush a January, well. just so we know, it's January uh, 2013 Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute student guide. Right. But parts of what <laughs> so you're no. quoting are from 2011. But here's the larger thing. I, I agree with Brad entirely. We want all of our troops to fight for American values. And I, I just, I don't even know how to respond. This is such a mountain out of a molehill. You're cherry picking parts out of a report that if you look at the entirety, simply say that our Department of Defense, our armed forces should use their guidance to make sure that no extremists on either side of the ideological fence. It's very clear. But it's, it's an artfully, it's an artfully our armed forces. Uh, put Brad, together. I want to insert here because this is put together and it references the Southern Poverty Law Center. And the document itself says it relies and it cites heavily to the Southern Poverty Law Center, which, as you'll remember, has uh, labeled a number of groups, hate groups, including the Family mm -hmm. Research Council. The man who went in there with a gun and said his plan was to kill as many people as possible said it was because he found that group listed on the Southern Poverty Law Center's website. And yet they have input into this document. They don't have Brad? input into it if they're cited. Look, well, no. the, look the, the document in its totality it's is, is factually incorrect. It's wrong. It's the wrong tack that our military should be taken. And our military has better things to do than to slam our founding fathers and try and equate what, what they did 
for America. The fact is, in less than 300 years, we're the most powerful nation. We're looked at as the hope for the world. Is that such a bad thing? I don't think you should be arguing with success and trying to equate what our country was founded on with where uh, we are today as far as pinning people as being radicals when they're far from it. I, and if I, they Sally, are radicals, they're radicals in, Sally, in the sense of what our founding fathers okay, believed. I don't, quick, quick final want, Sally. I don't think we'd want that man who went into the Family Research Council with a gun to join the armed forces either. And that's what this is about, preventing extremists on both sides. It's a very fair report, and, and we're making a mountain out of a molehill here, and we should be focused on keeping our country safe. All right, I want you two to promise not to try to talk too much about how to make the world a better place. I want you to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Sally and Brad, good, good to see you both. Nice to see Thank you. you. All right.